Welcome back to our program, and in this segment, we are talking with McLaren Port Huron's Emergency Center Nurse Manager, Barb Eady. Barb, welcome to our program. Well, thank you for having me. What kind of patients with heart conditions do you care for in the emergency center? In the emergency center, we care for patients that have all kinds of different heart conditions. Um, the most common ones we see are congestive heart failure or heart attacks. Well, we've been talking a lot about heart attacks with Dr. B.R. Reddy, and um, I want to ask you, what are the symptoms of a heart attack? Um, symptoms of a heart attack are that crushing chest pain that people feel that may or may not radiate down the left arm. Um, that's your, a classic one that people will present with. Um, but women can present differently, and so can diabetics. Um, women may present with um, arm pain, they may present with back pain, they may also present with some neck and some jaw pain. Um, your diabetics may present very short of breath, um, very sweaty, or um, very anxious. So what brings them in is just that it's not going away, even though it isn't a typical pain, it's, it's, it's there and it's not going away. It's there, it's not going away, and it's not normal for them. Uh, they're not used to that kind of pain. Yes. So why should you call 911 then? Well, there are many reasons why you should call 911. The main reason is when somebody is actively having a heart attack, they can code at any time. And when somebody codes, it means that their heart is stopped. Um, EMS can get the patients to the hospital quickly, and the EMS paramedics can also provide treatment um, while en route to the hospital, which saves time. And what kind of information can they transmit to the hospital when they're en route? EMS paramedics transmit an EKG to the hospital, which lets, determines whether the blood flow of the heart has been interrupted or not. and uh, the, the emergency department physician will then read that EKG and determine if there's um, an ST elevated heart attack going on. And if there is, they will then contact the cardiac cath lab team and they will also contact the cardiology team who will then meet the patient in the emergency center. Um, time is critical, so it's very important that we get that patient to the cath lab that is having that ST elevated heart attack for balloon angioplasty. So some of that can actually happen before the patient even gets there because the ER physician is reading that, that first EKG. You can call the cath lab. Absolutely. You know, they can do an EKG while the patient is still in their home and transmit that to us. And then it, we start prepping for that patient's arrival by getting everybody notified and involved in, in waiting for their arrival in the emergency department. And what happens when they do arrive then? When they do arrive in the emergency department, they're seen by our emergency department physician, and uh, the nurses are prepping them to go straight up to the cardiac cath lab for an intervention. And I know there's a lot that, that goes on, and you're very well orchestrated, even though it seems a bit chaotic. Everybody knows exactly what they're going to do. Um, but how about a family member? What happens to them? Do they get kind of lost in the shuffle? Well, we don't like to lose family members in the shuffle. We like to include them in the patient's treatment plan and their plan of care. So while people are actively working on their loved one and, and prepping that patient quickly to get them to the cath lab quickly, we also have a nurse that will speak with the family members and let them know exactly what's going on, exactly who's caring for their loved one, and, and keep them updated on the plan of care to help them because they're they usually are very nervous and very worried about their loved one and, and sometimes that helps ease a little bit of that. Absolutely, so important. Well, you're the nurse manager. I know that, that part of your job every day is, is to make sure that everything is ready for these heart attack patients. Um, why would you say to members of the community that McLaren Port Huron's Emergency Center is the best place to go if you think you're having a heart attack? Well, McLaren Port Heron Emergency Center um, and McLaren Port Heron in general is, is the best place to come because McLaren Port Heron is the only hospital in St. Clair County that offers an intervention for someone that is actively having a heart attack. Great information. Do you have closing comments for our viewers? Um, if you're experiencing symptoms of a heart attack, don't hesitate to call 911. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Stay with us. We'll be right back.